Night of the Demon is a classic black and white supernatural movie from the director of Cat People and I Walked with a Zombie. Hey, good to see you again. So I've chosen another black and white movie for tonight. Actually, I felt like reviewing uh, Cat People or I Walked with a Zombie from director Jacques Tourneau. But I've seen those movies before and I thought, okay, I'll try and pick a movie from the same director, but the one I've never seen before. And that way I arrived at Night of the Demon, a movie I've never heard before. I've seen this uh, picture once, somebody's posted it ages ago, and I thought, well, that was some kind of a black and white uh, Godzilla ripoff. It's uh, nothing uh, of the sort. Mm -hmm. Night of the Demons starts Dana Andrews, who was quite a big star in the 40s, and I've seen him in a couple of uh, Otto Preminger films. Fallen Angel and Where the Sidewalk Ends, those were sort of mid-range, um, black and white stylish uh, crime movies and Dana Andrews was brilliant portraying this um, crooked character who still had uh, some charm to him and who managed to redeem himself despite doing some horrible things. Both movies were kind of made from uh, the same template, I felt. When it comes to Night of the Demon, I felt that Dana Andrews was miscast. This is uh, a movie from a later period in his career and he appears a lot less uh, steady on his feet. He looks half drunk half the time. His delivery is really indifferent. It looks like he's uh, pretty much sleepwalking through the part. It's not that he's bad, it's just you have the feeling he's completely absent. Also the character he's been given is a kind of a, a scientist and sadly Dane Andrews doesn't look that studious. He kind of looks more like a hoodlum or a, or a gangster, something like that. And his delivery is also very... He doesn't project any sort of academic quality, which makes him a bit unconvincing. He's also quite arrogant in the film. He tends to march through the film in this um, self... Um, righteous way. And he's, uh, the, the main conflict of, of the movie is he's this... American um, scientist who arrives in, in the UK and he doesn't believe in the existence of this demon who we see right up front in the movie in the first scene. It's him coming to terms with this horrifying reality of the existence of supernatural forces. This is the rough conflict of the movie. Dana Andrews isn't brilliant but there are several great British actors in supporting parts and the villain in this film portrayed by Niall McGuinness is fantastic. I've never seen that actor before, Niall McGuinness. I thought he's, uh, he basically upstaged Dana Andrews and pretty much any other actor who was on screen with him. Night of the Demon has struck me as the most visually stunning Jacques Tourneur film I've seen so far. I thought it was more beautiful than Cat People and I Walked with a Zombie. And some of the shadowy compositions are just marvelous. I really like 19... 50s, 1940s black and white movies. I watched quite a lot of them and this one has really struck me as um, as an outstanding example of that craft of uh, beautiful black and white uh, filmmaking. The film also has excellent sense of pacing. Night of the Demon flies by. There is no padding and there are not too many moralizing asides which I think were the problem with other Dana Andrews movies I've seen where it was a little bit heavy on the moralizing side at least towards the end. Here it's more geared towards the horror territory which mercifully spares us a lot of boring stuff which is great. The film features this oversized monster and we see it appear twice in the movie and it's clearly a mechanical pu puppet but the way the way it's presented is quite ominous and menacing and even though you can tell it's fake, it somehow still works. I like monsters when it's a guy in a suit. Yeah, you know it's a guy in a suit, but at least the thing is there. At least it's not some CGI thing, which, you know, is. you also know it's not real, but it's not even there. So there is, that's the big difference for me personally. Night of the Demon has lots of beautiful locations. It's shot around uh, England. They, they feature Stonehenge. There is this uh, beautiful uh, 
they're in the British Museum in the library wing. Some of my favorite scenes in movies are train scenes, disco dancing scenes and library scenes and Night of the Demon has two of those. There is an awesome library scene when the when the protagonist encounters the, the, the bad guy for the first time and then there is a great train scene towards the end. The basic story outline has somewhat reminded me of early James Bond films where we kind of see the, the villain introduce himself to the good guy and challenge them and tease them and steal the girl at some point and also they invite the good guy to visit their lair, to, to visit where they operate from which is pretty much the template of many Bond, Bond films where they kind of try and uh, impress the good guy or even um, convince the good guy to give up their uh, struggle against them. So there was that uh, similarity which was quite unexpected. Since Night of the Demon is a movie from the 1950s, the question is what's, what's with the music? Yes, it has that orchestral score which was quite typical for those uh, days. But it's one of the less annoying ones. I would say 80% of the music was really good. It only got on my nerves maybe just once. And that's a question of taste. Maybe there are people who really like those kind of bombastic orchestral uh, moments which are supposed to like heighten tension. Some of it is really manipulative, but for the most part, I, I didn't have a problem with the score. I think 1950s movies can be difficult for younger audiences because even if you can get over the fashions and sexism and many other aspects which uh, really mark the film as a product of its time. Music, use of music, abusive overuse of certain orchestrations can really, really hurt all the movies. You know there are, on Blu-rays there is that option isolated music tracks sometimes. I wonder why don't they off offer an option movie with sound effects but without the music because that way I could have appreciated some of early Hitchcock films much more where I just don't like the music, everything else is fine, I just really intensely dislike the music. Back to Night of the Demon. There are two versions of this film. Apparently in the States the movie was recut and they hacked a few minutes out of it and called it Curse of the Demon. Now I'd be curious to uh, watch that uh, recut version. I really had my fun with Night of the Demon and I think I'll be revisiting it very soon. I know there is a beautiful Blu-ray from Indicator out there so I'd be tempted to get myself a copy. So that was day 24 of uh, 31 Days of Horror. Night of the Demon, a Jacques Tourneur film with Dana Andrews. Thanks for watching. <laughs>